Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we're looking at another fan coil in a closet. This is a downflow fan coil, and we replaced a gas furnace that was in this closet with an evaporator coil and AC unit that's up on the roof, and we went all electric. So I'm gonna kind of go through a few of the things that we did to accomplish that, as well as some benefits and features of this system. So, like I said, there was a gas furnace in here. The gas line is right here which we capped. The flue vent is right there, which we took out and capped on the roof. It does use the same refrigerant lines right here that come down and go into the fan coil. We have a drain, just like on a evaporator coils. We have a shut off switch, a drain line right here that comes down and drains out underground. Um, to accomplish moving from a gas furnace to a fan coil, it uses 220 volt electrical instead of plugging into a 115 volt outlet like this. So the furnace used to plug into this. We can't do that anymore because this outlet is sharing many other things like plugs and lights and other stuff. So we ran a dedicated circuit from this panel. It takes a 15 amp two pole breaker. We ran it through this junction box right here. You can see this line right here runs all the way down to our disconnect switch, which is a 220 switch. And that goes in to power the unit down here at the bottom. So you do need to make sure it's dedicated. Uh, we can just run a nice 14 gauge wire in there. So it's not too big because it is so close to the unit. Um, this is a variable speed fan coil. So it's the Carrier FE4ANF005L00. So this is a, a three to four ton coil. And it's matched with a three ton heat pump condenser on the roof that is doing all of the heating and cooling for the unit. And if you pull back here, you can see that unit on the roof. And it's next to all those solar panels. I have another video about that unit on the roof. So that matches together. That is a 25 VNA 436A003, three ton uh, heat pump, variable speed, green speed, heat pump co um, condenser. Um, so that is also matched inside the house with uh, the carrier infinity control thermostat. So that makes it fully communicating, fully variable speed. So 75 speeds, 25% to 100% capacity in 1% increments. This system does qualify for rebates, such as the carrier uh, cool cash rebate of $1,350. It does also qualify for the federal tax credit, $1,200 for a heat pump system, plus an additional $2,000 federal tax credit for installing the heat pump system. So up to $3,200 based on your income. Talk to a tax guy about that to see what you would receive. And then there's some other state rebates and city and local rebates that are available that are coming in the future. We're still waiting on details on that. But if you would like more information on going from a gas furnace in a closet, in an attic, in a basement, wherever, uh, in a garage maybe, and converting it over to a fan coil and heat pump system going all electric. What it takes is a dedicated circuit right here. We also have to adapt to your existing ductwork. So right here is the return plenum where the air comes in and it goes to a supply plenum under the house. We have to adapt to that. The fan coils are a little larger. So this the three to four ton fan coils, 22 wide by 22 depth and by 54 high. So we do need to make sure we can either get it in the closet or get it in that space that you're looking to do. Sometimes your existing furnace is only maybe 17 and a half inches wide or 14 and a half. So will it fit there? We have to check that. Then obviously we cap your gas line, get rid of the flue vent up there because we don't need that anymore. We pipe in the refrigerant lines, do the condensate drains, add a filter rack on this one. We have the four ton filter. Or the, sorry, the four inch filter um, and adapt to the ductwork and stuff in the closet. So please uh, like and subscribe to my page for more videos like this. And for more information, visit us at www.albertair.com. And I thank you for watching.